Okay, so let's begin. Please put on your video. We will start with the uh, invocation mantras. So sit straight, close your eyes, adopt chin mudra, join your index finger and thumb together. <clears throat> Om Ganana Antwa Ganapati Gum Hava Maheka Vinka Vina Mupamashravasamam Jeshthara Jam Brahmanam Brahmanaspata Anashran Vanu Tibhisi the Sadhanam Shri Mahaganapata Yeda Maha Prano Devi Saraswati Vaje Bhervajini Vati Bhinama Vitriavatu Ano Devo Bruhataf Parvatada Saraswati Yajatagantu Yatnyam Havan Devi Jujushana Gritachi Shagman Novacha Mushati Shronotu Vagdevyaida Maha Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahavir Yankaravahai Tejasvena Vadhita Mastuma Vidvishavahai Om so, so far, uh, whatever verses we have learned, we will go through them first. So keep your call on mute and uh, along with me, if you have practiced all these verses, you can chant along with me. <clears throat> so we will begin. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Shuklam Varadharam Vishnum Shashi Varnan Chatur Bhujam Prasan Navadanantyayet Sarva Vikno Pashantaye Nara Yanan Namaskratya Naran Chaiva Narutamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasan Tato Jayamudiraye I know this verse is not here. We'll start from here. Vyasam Vasishtha Naptaram Shaktev Pautramakalmasham Parasharatma Jamvande Shukatatan Tapu Nithim Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vishnave Namo vai pramha nidhaye vasishthaya namo namaha. Avikaraya shuddhaya nityaya paramatmane. Sadaika rupa rupaya vishnave sarva jishnave. Yasya smarana matrena janma samsara bandhana. Vimuchyate namastasmai vishnave prabhavishnave. On namo vishnave prabhavishnave. Shri Vaishampayana uvacha. Shritva dharmana sheshena pavanani chasarvashaha. Yudhishthira shantanavam puna reva bhyabhashata. Shri Yudhishthira uvacha. Kime kandaiva talloke kimva pye kamparayanam. 
ಸ್ತುವಂತಕಂಕಮರ್ಚಂತುರ್ಮಾನವಾಶುಭಂ ಕೋಧರ್ಮಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮತ ಪರಮೋ ಮತ ಕಿಂಜಪನ್ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಜಂತುರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಸಂಸಾರ ಬಂಧನ ಶ್ರೀಭೀಷ್ಮ ಉಚ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಭುಂದೇವೇವನಂತ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಸ್ತುವನ್ನಾಮ ಸಹಸ್ರೇಣ ಪುರುಷ ಸತತೋತ್ಥಿ ತಮೇವ ಚಾರ್ಚಯನ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತ ಪುರುಷಮ್ಯ ಧ್ಯಾಸ್ತುವನ್ನಮಸ್ಯಂಶ್ಚ ಯಜಮಾನಸ್ತಮೇವ ಅನಾಧನ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸರ್ವೋಕಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಲೋಕಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಸ್ತುವನ್ನಿತ್ಯಾತಿ ಗೋ ಭೇತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯಂ ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಜ್ಞಲ್ಲೋಕಾನಂಕೀರ್ತಿವರ್ಧನ ಲೋಕನಾಥಂ ಮಹದ್ ಭೂತಭೂತಭವೋದ್ಭವೇಷಮೇಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಾಧಿಕತಮೋ ಮತ ಯುಂಡರೀಕಾಕ್ಷೈರರ್ಚೇನ್ನರಸದಾ ಪರಮಯ್ಯೋ ಮಹತ್ ತೇಜ ಪರಮಯ್ಯೋ ಮಹತ್ತ ಪರಮಯ್ಯೋ ಮಹದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಮಯ್ಯ ಪರಾಯಣ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಪವಿತ್ರೈಯೋ ಮಂಗಲ ಮಂಗಲ ದೈವತಂದೂತಾನೋ ವ್ಯಯ ಪಿತ ಯತಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಭೂತಾಗಮೇ ಯಸ್ಮಿಂಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಲಯಂತಿ ಪುನರೇವ ಯುಗಕ್ಷೇ ತೋಕ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಜಗನ್ನಥ ಭೂಪತೆ ವಿಷ್ಣೋರ್ನಾಮ ಸಹಸ್ರಂ ಮೇ ಶೃಣು ಪಾಪ ಭಯಾಪಹಂ ಗೌಣಿ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ಋಷಿಭ್ಯ ಪರಿಗೀತ ವಕ್ಷಾ ಭೂತ ಋಷಿರ್ನಾ ಸಹಸ್ರ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸೋ ಮಹಾಮುನಿ ಛಂದೋ ನುಷ್ಟು ತೇವೋ ಭಗವಾಂದೇವಕೀ ಸುತ ಅಮೃತ ಶುದ್ಭವೋ ಬೀಜ ಶಕ್ತಿರ್ದೇವಕಿನಂದನ ತ್ರಿಸಾಹೃದಯ ಶಾಂತ್ಯರ್ಥೆ ವಿನಿಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಜಿಷ್ಣು ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರಭವಿಷ್ಣು ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಅನೇಕ ದೈತ್ಯಾನಂತನ್ನಮಿ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಪೂರ್ವನ್ಯಾಸ ಶ್ರೀ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ಉಚ ಅೀ ವಿಷ್ಣೋರ್ದಿವ್ಯಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಶ್ರೀ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಋಷಿ ಅನುಷ್ಟು ಛಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ದೇವತ ಅಮೃತಾಂಶುದ್ಭವೋ ಭಾನುರಿತಿ ಬೀಜ ದೇವಕೀ ನಂದನ ಸೃಷ್ಟೇತಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಉದ್ಭವ ಕ್ಷೋಭಣೋ ದೇವ ಇತಿ ಪರಮೋ ಮಂತ್ರ ಶಂಖಭೃನ್ನಂದಕೀ ಚಕ್ರೀತಿ ಕೀಲಕ ಶ್ರಾಂಗ ಸಾರಿ 
ಶ್ರಾಂಗಧನ್ವಾಗದಾಧರ ಇಸ್ರಂ ರಥಾಂಗಪಾಣೀರಕ್ಷೋಭ್ಯ ನೇತ್ರ ತ್ರಿಸಾಮಗ ಸಾಮೇತಿ ಕವಚ ಆನಂದ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇತಿ ಯೋ ನಿಹಿ ಋತು ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಕಾಲ ಇಗ್ಬಂಧ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಇನ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರೀ ಸಾರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯರ್ಥೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಪಾರಾಯಣೇ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯರ್ಥೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಪಾರಾಯಣೆ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ನೌ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅತಧ್ಯಾನ from here now we are going to learn the further verses so this is a dhyana shloka so we'll repeat each word three times kshiro danvat pradeshe kshiro danvat pradeshe kshiro danvat pradeshe shuchi mani vilasat ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷೀರೋ ದನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶೆ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಕ್ಷೀರೋ ದನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶೆ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಕ್ಷೀರೋ ದನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶೆ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ if you will see above mau mauti ka naam there is a hook so saikater so the ra will come before mauti ka naam so we'll chant the entire first line three times kshiro danvat pradeshe shuchi mani vilasat saikater mauti ka naam ಕ್ಷೀರೋ ದನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶೆ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ ಕ್ಷೀರೋ ದನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶೆ ಶುಚಿ ಮಣಿ ವಿಲಸತ್ ಸೈಕತೇರ್ ಮೌಕ್ತಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಲಾಕ್ಲೃಪ್ತಾಸನಸ್ಥ So here we are just uh, chanting the normal um, aspirated sound of Visarga here. But when we'll combine the next word, the Visarga sound will become so. Mala klirpta sanastha Mala klirpta sanastha Now here k l and r so these are combined together this r sound is very uh, unique it will not come more often uh, in the words but here the k l and r all the sounds are chanted together hmm? mala klirpta sanasthah mala klirpta sanasthah ಸ್ಫಟಿಕ ಮಣಿ ನಿಭೈರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮೌ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹುಕ್ ಸೊ ನಿಭೈರ್ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕ ಮಣಿ ನಿಭೈರ್ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕ ಮಣಿ ನಿಭೈರ್ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕ ಮಣಿ ನಿಭೈರ್ 
Mautikair Manditangah. Again, ma with hook. So before ma, there is a ra sound. Mautikair Manditangah. Mautikair Manditangah. Mautikair Manditangah. Let's combine first two words of the second verse. Now the visarga sound will not remain her, but it will become sa because it is followed by the sa syllable. Mala klarpta sanas thas phatika mani nibhair. Mala klarpta sanas thas phatika mani nibhair. Mala klarpta now what we will do? The second word and third word will combine together. Sphatika mani nibhair mauti kair manditangah. Sphatika mani nibhair mauti Tikair Manditangah Sphatika Mani Nibhair Mautikair Manditangah Now the entire second verse three times. Mala Klarptasana Sthas Phatika Mani Nibhair Mautikair Manditangah You have to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath at the beginning of the sentence. It's so like a pranayam practice. Mala klarpta sanas thas phatika mani nibhair mauti kair manditangaha. It's better, isn't it? Breathe in. Mala klarpta sanas thas phatika mani nibhair mauti kair manditangaha. Are you all with me? Any questions? First two verses. Clear? Third line. Now here, Shubrai Rabrai. Hmm? Actually, there is a Visarga followed by, so we are taking it Adabrai. Shubrai Rabrai hi Adabrai Rupari. So we are going to split these words now first. Shubhrai Rabhrai Radhabhrai. Shubhrai Rabhrai Radhabhrai. Shubhrai Rabhrai Radhabhrai. Rupari virachitair. Now here again, when you see the word mukta, there is a hook above mu. So again, the ra sound will come vira chitair. Vira chitair. Shubhrai rabhrai radhabhrai. Rupari virachitair. Rupari virachitair. Rupari virachitair. Mukta piyusha varashaihi. Mukta followed by P and U. These two uh, are Dirga Swaras. Mukta piyusha varashaihi. Give. To snap of a time for chanting these words. Mukta piyusha varshaihi. Shubhrai rabhrai radhabhrai. Shubhrai rabhrai radhabhrai. Shubhrai rabhrai radhabhrai. 
Rupari virachitair. Rupari virachitair. Rupari virachitair. Mukta piyushavashaihi. Now here both the sh sounds are retroflex. Sh. In Shiva, the sh sound will become different. And in Varsha, the sh sound is a retroflex sound. So make that articulation in your chanting. Mukta piyusha varshaihi. Mukta piyusha varshaihi. Okay. Now let's combine the entire line. Shubhrai rabhrai radabhrai rupari virachitair mukta piyusha varshaihi. Shubhrai rabhrai radabhrai rupari virachitair mukta piyusha varshaihi. Take a deep breath in. Shubhrai rabhrai radabhrai. Prai rupari virachitair mukta piyusha varashaihi. Next line. Anandi naf Now, the visarga here is followed by p sound. Hence, the visarga sound will become f. Anandi naf now, when we are splitting this word, puniyata arinalinagada. Okay? Puniyata with the line below, ta. Arinalinagada is the next uh, split sound or the word. So, let's chant the first part of the sentence. Anandi naf. Puniyat Anandi naf puniyat Anandi naf puniyat Arinali nagada Arinali nagada Arinali nagada Shankha panir mukundaha Again, mu with a hook. So, shankha panir mukundaha. The visarga always at the end of the sentence will have the ha sound. Shankha panir mukundaha. Shankha panir mukundaha. Shankha panir mukundaha. Now, the first two sounds. Anandi naf puniyat arinali nagada. Anandi naf puniyat arinali nagada. Anandi naf puniyat arinali nagada. Shankha panir Mukundaha Shankha Panir Mukundaha Shankha Panir Mukundaha The entire sentence Breathe in Anandi Nafpuniyat Arinalina Gada Shankha Panir Mukundaha Anandi Nafpuniyat Arinalina Gada Shankha Panir Mukundaha Anandi Naf Puniyat Arinalina Gada Shankha Panir Mukundaha. Okay. Now let's come back to the first line. We'll now chant twice and the entire this paragraph twice. Hmm? 
if you have any question at the end, uh, we'll take a little pause there. Dhyanam Shiro Danvat Pradeshe Shuchimani Vilasat Saikater Mautikanam Shiro Danvat Pradeshe Shuchimani Vilasat Saikater Mautikanam Malaklar Tasanas thas patika mani ni bhair mauti kair mandi tangaha. Mala klartasanas thas patika mani ni bhair mauti kair mandi tangaha. Shubhraira bhraira da bhrairu paribira chitair mukta. Tapi Anandi naf puniyat arinalina gada shankha panir mukundaha. The entire paragraph twice. Dhyanam Shiro danvat pradeshe shuchi mani vilasat saikater mautikana. Mala klartasanas thas patika mani ni bhair mauti kair mandi tangaha. Shubhraira bhraira da bhairu paribira chitair mukta piyu shavar shaihi. Anandi naf puniyat arinalina gada shankha panir mukundaha. Dhyanam shiro danvat pradeshe shuchimani vilasat saikater mautikana. Mala klartasanas thas patika mani ni bhair mauti kair mandi tangaha. Uh, Shamala, can you please mute your call? Thank you. Shubhraira bhraira da bhrairu parivira chitair mukta. The Piyu Shavar Shaihi Anandi Nafpuniyat Arinalina Gada Shankha Panir Mukundaha. Are you all with me? Any questions? So it's very good, uh, you know, shloka practice to do pranayama to focus yeah. on each syllable and feel the vibrations, resonance of each sound. Yeah, and um, apart from the pranayama, I still have to untie my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there the vaka shuddhi will come. Once vaka shuddhi will happen, what will happen? Purity at mental, the Thought, purity of thoughts, purity of words, and purity of actions. And there is a good harmony between these three. Great. So shall we move ahead with the next paragraph? Again, here, Bhu is a Dirgha Swara followed by a Visarga followed by Pa sound. So the Visarga sound is F. <clears throat> Bhuf padau yasya na bhirviyata. Again, now again, V having the hook. So na bhirviyata. 
we are going to split this sound here, uh, the word. Bhūpādau yasya nābhirviyata. Bhūpādau yasya nābhirviyata. And bh is a mahaprana sound. So b is not aspirated. Bh, where lot of prana is aspirated. Bhūf padau yasya nābhir viyata. Viyata asura nilash chandra surya uchane tre. Asura nilash chandra surya uchane tre. Su, again dirgha swara. Asura nilash chandra surya uchane tre. Now let's combine. Bhuf padau yasya nabhir viyat. You can say viyad sura nilascha or vilatta asura nilash chandra su. So whatever is convenient to you. Viyatta asura nilash chandra surya or viyada sura nilash chandra surya ushchanitri. <clears throat> so right now we will keep it separate. Split with ta and a. Bhuf padau yasya nabhir viyata asura nilash chandra surya ushchanetri. Bhuf padau yasya nabhir viyata asura nilash chandra surya ushchanetri. Last time. Bhuf padau yasya nabhir viyata asura nilash chandra surya ushchane tre. Excuse me, KP, is that surya or suryao? Surya. Sur, sura, yau. So again, there is a hook again, over here. Sur, yau. Surya ushchane tre. So, yo. Yeah, it's a yo sound. Karana Vashaha Visarga followed by sh syllable. Visarga sound will become sh. Karana Vasha Shiro Dyaur. Shiro Dyaur. Again, Mu is having hook. So, Dyaur. Okay. Karana Vasha Shiro Dyaur. Karana Vasha Shiro Dyaur. Karana Vasha Shiro Dyaur. Mukhamapi Dahano Yasya. Mukhamapi Dahano Yasya. Mukhamapi dahano yasya. Now this is the last word. Not vasteya, but vasoya mabdhihi. So you can make the correction over there. Vasoya mabdhihi. In English transliteration, I think it is correct. Vasoya mabdhihi. But in Sanskrit uh, script, it is vasteya. So that is not correct. Vasoya mabdhihi. Dh. B is alpa prana. Dh is maha prana. So you should feel that aspirated sound in your chest region. Vasoya mabdhihi. Visarga. Ha sound. Natural visarga sound. Vasoya mabdhihi. Vasoya mabdhihi. Karana Vasha Shiro Dyaur Mukhama Pidahano Yasya Vaso Yama Pihi. Sorry, sorry, Katie. So for 
chanting purposes, would you say that the Sanskrit lettering or the transliteration is more correct? Which one? Because I'm I'm sort of following chanting between the letters and the transliteration, yeah. so I'm not sure. Yeah, Which so one is if you're point? following the English transliteration, yes, there is vasoya mabdhihi. So there is no need for any correction. It right. Is but for, for generally speaking, which do you think is more, which text is more correct? Do you think the Sanskrit? No, no, letter? here there is a uh, spelling mistake in the Sanskrit script. It is the, the pronunciation itself, the, the word itself is changing. It is not vasteya, it is vasoya mabdhihi. But in the Sanskrit script, it is the wrong. Yeah, because I've picked this up before on page, I can't remember what page it was, but there was some other thing between the, the chanting and the script so i wasn't sure which was the right one so okay so you send okay. me that particular word i will have a look oh i can can find it again okay thank you huh? okay so the second line karna vasha shiro dyaur mukham apidahano yasya vaso yamabhihi Karna vasha shiro dyaur mukham apidahano yasya vaso yamabhihi. Third line. Antastham yasya. Now here anuswara is followed by ya syllable. Hence the anuswara sound will become ya. Antastham yasya. Vishwam. Vishwam, natural sound of Anuswara. Antasthayasya Vishwam. An, again, Antastha. Antastham. This Visarga will have so sound. Antasthayasya. Antasthai, if you can feel that Visarga sound, so Antasthai Asya Vishwam Sura Nara Khaga Sura Nara Khaga Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi Again, V is having hook so Gandharva, R will come before V. Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Entire line, take a deep breath in. Antasthayasya Vishwam Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Antasthayasya Sya Vishwam Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Antasthai Yasya Vishwam Sura Nara Khaga Gobhogi Gandharva Daityaihi. Next line. Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tam. Now here the Tam sound. Uh, the Anuswara is followed by Tra, hence the Anuswara sound will become N. Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tantri Bhuvana Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tantri Bhuvana Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tantri Bhuvana Vapu Shab, Vapu Sham, that Anuswara is followed by V syllable. Hence, the Anuswara sound will become V. 
and Vishnu Misham. Again here, the Sham Anuswara is followed by Na. So Anuswara sound is Na. So you write down. Me again, Kate. Can you raise the page a bit? Sorry? Can you raise the script? Yeah, we didn't get Nama me there. Yeah, yes. thanks. Chitram Ramyate Tan Tan Tribhuvana Vapusham Vapusham Vasam Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami. So, first half part of the sentence. Chitram ram ram yate tantri bhuvana. Chitram ram ram yate tantri bhuvana. Chitram ram ram yate tantri bhuvana. Vapusham vish Vapusham vishnu me shanna mami. V is raswa me. Vishnu Mishan. Me is Dirga Swara. Again, Namami. Me is Raswa Swara. One snap of a time, two snap of a time. Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami. Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami. Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami. The entire line. Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tan Tribhuvan Vapusham Tribhuvana Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami. Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tan Tribhuvana Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tantri Bhuvana Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami The entire para twice, each line twice, the entire para twice. <clears throat> Bhuf Padau yasya na bhirviyata asura nilash chandra surya ushchanetre. Bhuf padau yasya na bhirviyata asura nilash chandra surya ushchanetre. Karnava sha shiro deur mukhama pidahano yasya vaso yamabhihi. Karnava sha shiro deur mukhama pidahano yasya vaso yamabhihi. Antas thayasya vishvam sura narakhaga go bhogi gandharva daityahi. Antas thayasya vishvam sura narakhaga go bhogi gandharva daityahi. Chitram ram ram yate tantri bhuvana vapusham. Vishnu Mishan Namami Chitram Ram Ram Yate Tantri Bhuvana Vapusham Vishnu Mishan Namami The entire para twice. Bhuf Padau Yasyana Bhirviyata Asura Nilash Chandra Surya Ushchanetre Karnavasha shiro deur mukhama pidahano yasya vaso yamabhihi. Antas thayasya vishvam sura narakhaga go bhogi gandharva daityahi. Chitram ram ram yate tantri bhuvana vapusham vishnu mishan namami. 
ಭೂಪಾದೌಯಸ್ಯನಾಭಿರ್ವಿಯತ ಅಸುರ ನಿಲಶ್ಚಂದ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯೋಶ್ಚನೇತ್ರೇ ಕರ್ಣಾವಾಶಾ ಶಿರೋದ್ಯೌರ್ಮುಖಮಿ ದಹನೋ ಯಸೋಯಮಿ ಅಂತಸ್ಥೈಯ ವಿಶ್ವ ಸುರನರ ಖಗೋ ಭೋಗಿ ಗಂಧರ್ವದೈತ್ಯೈ ಚಿತ್ರ ರಮ್ಯತೆ ತಂತ್ರಿಭುವನ ವಪುಷಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ನಮಿ So what we will do, we will chant the entire dhyanam part and we will quickly read the meaning of it. Hmm? Ata dhyanam kshiro danvat pradeshe shuchimani vilasat saikater mautikanam ಮಾಲಾಕ್ಲಸ್ಥಸ್ಫಟಿಕಮಿಭೈರ್ಮೌಕ್ತಿಕೈರ್ಮಂಡಿತಾಂಗ ಶುಭ್ರೈರಭ್ರೈರದಭ್ರೈರುಪರಿ ವಿರಚಿತೈರ್ಮುಕ್ತ ಪೀಯೂಷವರ್ಷೈ ಆನಂದ ಆನಂದೀನ ಪುನೀಯಾತ್ ಅರಿನಲಿನ ಗದಾ ಶಂಖ ಪಾಣಿರ್ಮುಕುಂದ ಭೂಪಾದೌಯಸ್ಯನಾಭಿರ್ವಿಯತ ಅಸುರ ನಿಲಶ್ಚಂದ್ರ ಸೂರ್ಯೌಶ್ಚನೇತ್ರೇ ಕರ್ಣ ವಾಶಾ ಶಿರೋದ್ಯೌರ್ಮುಖಮಿ ದಹನೋ ಯಸ್ಯವಾಸೋಯಮಿ ಅಂತಸ್ಥೈಯ ವಿಶ್ವ ಸುರನರ ಖಗೋ ಭೋಗಿ ಗಂಧರ್ವದೈತ್ಯೈ ಚಿತ್ರ ರಮ್ಯತೆ ತಂತ್ರಿಭುವನ ವಪುಷಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಮೀಶನ್ನ ಮಾಮಿ <clears throat> so quickly we'll read the meaning in the region of the ocean of milk seated on a garland of pure gems and pearls adorned with pearls resembling crystal gems with white clouds with rains of free nectar delighting us may the lotus and mace of the holy mountains holding a conch be our joy so this is the explanation of lord vishnu where he is sitting what he is wearing hmm? so dhyanam we have to do dhyana meditation on what on this beautiful form of lord vishnu hmm? where he is sitting at the bottom very bottom of the kshira sagara ocean of milk seated on a garland of pure gems and pearls adorned with pearls resembling crystal gems with white clouds with rains of free nectar delighting us it is giving us the sheer pleasure bliss may the lotus and mace of the holy mountains the meru parvata holding a conch be our joy the next para sorry i bow before that god before lord vishnu who is the lord of three worlds bhu bhuvah swah three worlds three lokas who has earth as his feet who has air as his soul who has a sky as his belly who has moon and sun as eyes can you feel the vastness who has the four directions as ears who has the land of gods as head who has fire as his mouth who has sea as his stomach and in whose belly play and enjoy gods everyone 
is playing you know enjoying gods men birds animals serpent men gandharvas and asuras he is all in, uh, you know encompassing all pervading the good as well as bad he holds everything in him so on this beautiful form of lord vishnu let's do dhyanam meditation so whenever you want to do meditation we don't know what on what object to meditate what you know the holy purest form you will have other than lord vishnu so you chant this dhyana shloka and meditate on the beautiful form of lord vishnu and you will be full of bliss peace health happiness okay we still have 10 more minutes so we will go ahead with the next verses so after this dhyana shloka there comes the line which is not here but you can write it down which is the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya we have to chant this line before we move ahead om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya next paragraph shantakaram bhujagashayanam padmanabham suresham shantakaram bhujagashayanam padmanabham suresham shantakaram bhujagashayanam padmanabham suresham vishwadharam now here uh, the anuswara is followed by g sound so it it will be the nasal ng sound ng vishwadharam gagana sadrusham megha varnam shubhangam all other anuswaras will have natural sound of anuswara m vishwadharam गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं विश्वाधार गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं नेक्स्ट लाइन लक्ष्मीका धिस अनुस्वर फॉलोड बाय क सेम न साउंड लक्ष्मीका the nasal sound kamala nayanam that anuswara is followed by y so anuswara sound will become y itself lakshmi kantam kamala nayanai yogi bhirdhyanagamyam okay so here it is yogi bhir dhyanagamyam in some books or text you will find yogi rudh rudh ha huh? the rudhaya word yogi rudh dhyanagamyam what is in the english transliteration ha huh. see here the english transliteration is correct yogi rudh dhyanagamyam the sanskrit one is the wrong one not yogi bhir yogi rud dhyanagamya rud hridaya hridaya so it is not actually hridaya but it is hridaya the sound the pronunciation is yogi hrit dhyanagamya so make that correction in the sanskrit script english one is correct
ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತಕಮಲನಯನೈರುಯೋಗಿರಧ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತಕಮಲನಯನೈರುಧ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಕ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ರಸ್ವ ಸೌಂಡ್ ನ ಇಸ್ ಅ ದೀರ್ಘ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ನ ದನ್ ಕ ಹ ಮ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ So let's let's chant this twice shantakaram bhujagashayanam padmanabham suresham vishvadharam gagana sadrusham meghavarnam shubhangam lakshmikantam kamalanayanai yogiradhyanagamyam ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಶಾಂತಾಕಾರಂ ಭುಜಗಶಯನ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಂ ಸುರೇಶಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರಂ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ಮೇಘವರ್ಣ ಶುಭಾಂಗಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತಕಮಲನಯನೈರಧ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ವಿಶೃಂಭವಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಬೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಗಾಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ personification of peace so if we seek peace meditate on lord vishnu because he is the manifestation he is the personification of peace who sleeps on his folded arms who has a lotus on his belly you know the from his belly sprung the lotus from the lotus came the lord brahma who is the god of gods who is the basis of earth who is like the sky who is of the color of the cloud who has beautiful limbs who is the consort of goddess lakshmi who has lotus like eyes who is seen by sense through thought yogi rudh dhyanagamyam in the deepest state of meditation yogi perceive lord vishnu who kills all worries and fears and who is the lord of all the worlds so whatever you see any other person may be your husband wife children friends you know apart from humans animals cloud sky air fire water everything is the manifestation of lord vishnu so you don't have to you know confine his form but he is all pervading in your thoughts thoughts are also manifestation of lord vishnu ha huh? but not the worries not the stress not the sorrows in fact that is also because rudra when you think about the rudra it is the personification of both here 
it is said he is the destroyer of worries he is the destroyer of illness he is the destroyer of uh, you know your limitations or the limited thoughts so meditate on all pervading principle if you want to see it in a form on lord vishnu one more paragraph <clears throat> मेथश्यामं पीतकौशेयवास मेथश्यामं पीतकौशेयवास श्रीवत्सांगकस्तुभोदासीतांगत्सांग कंग यू नो बिकॉज दैट Kung sound is again followed by k, so kung. <laughs> It will come double. Shri Vatsang Kung Kaustu Bhod Bhasitangam. Shri Vatsang Kung Kaustu Bho Kaustu Bhod Bhasitangam. पुण्योपेत पुंडरीकायताक्ष पुण्योपेत पुंडरीकायताक्ष विष्णु वंदे अनुस्वर फॉलोड बाय व अनुस्वर साउंड रिमेन और बिकम्स व विष्णु वंदे सर्वोकनाथ विष्णु वंदे सर्वोकनाथ विष्णु वंदे सर्वोकनाथ दर पारा टॉइस मेघश्याम पीतकौशेयवास श्रीवत्सांक कौस्तुभोदासीता पुण्योपेत पुंडरीकायताक्ष विष्णु वंदे सर्वोकनाथ मेघश्याम पीतकौशेयवास श्रीवत्सांक कौस्तुभोदासीतांग पुण्योपेत पुंडरीकायताक्ष विष्णु वंदे सर्वोकनाथ आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन केट की इन द फर्स्ट लाइन इज इट मेघ मेघश्याम इज इट श्यामम और श्यामम अकॉर्डिंग टू संस्कृत लेटर सेज श्या श्या स एंड सॉरी श and ye sham yeah that is sh but there is a like line above it so it is a hissing sound sh not s right but shyamam. is it is it long shamam or shia shia it's it's a halanta sh and a ya no yes sh and ye shamam okay hmm? megh shamam and That's whenever fine. there are conjunct sound you have to press them a little bit meghashyamam meghashyamam as great thanks as what i was i was hearing shamam yes okay thanks quickly we'll go through the meaning i bow before that god vishnu who is the lord of all the universe who is black like a cloud now before it came like white like a cloud now black like a cloud who wears yellow silks who has the shri vatsa on him that is a chinh or a sign on his chest shri vatsa whose limbs shine because of kaustubha that is again a uh, pearl or a gem kaustubha mani who has eyes like an open lotus and 
and who is surrounded by the blessed always hmm? he is surrounded by sarva lokai kanatham vishnum vande sorry punyo petam pundari kayataksham so all the blessed souls he is always who is surrounded by the blessed always can i take your 10 more minutes so that we will finish i want to finish up to this this two more paragraphs if you have time you wait if not uh, you can listen to the recording but i want to finish these three more paragraphs today so that from the next session we will actually start with the sahasranama till now we haven't started with chanting of the names as such they are going to start after this so here it is namasamastabhutanam adibhutaya bhugrute visarga sound will become so namasamastabhutanam adi bhutaya bhugrute mahaprana sound bhu namasamastabhutanam adi bhutaya bhugrute namasamastabhutanam Nam Adi Bhuta Ya Bhugrute Aneka Rupa Rupa Ya Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Aneka Rupa Rupa Ya Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Aneka Rupa Rupa Ya Vishnave Prabha Vishnave entire verse uh, sorry the uh, yeah both the lines together namasamasta bhutanam adi bhutaya bhugrute aneka rupa rupaya vishnave prabha vishnave namasamasta bhutanam adi bhutaya bhugrute bhute aneka rupa rupaya vishnave prabha vishnave meaning obeisance to vishnu the origin of all beings even in fact the origin of the entire universe the sustainer of the earth the form of many forms the originator hmm adi bhutaya adi adi is the beginning the origin of all the beings and he is in infinite forms like in bhagavad gita in vibhuti yoga when arjuna asks tell me your you know where you where are you present then vishnu says uh, sorry shri krishna says the list is endless endless list and then people ask where is the god <laughs> okay look at the sun look at the moon look at the stars look at the sky what not whatever you perceive through this eyes charm charma chakshu the physical eyes but even he is present which is not perceived by the charma chakshus the physical eyes so whatever you perceive whatever you experience these unlimited endless infinite aneka rupa rupaya vishnave prabha vishnave they are all my manifestations from me everything manifests in me everything dissolve, dissolve comes back all right the next one sashankhachakam sakirita kundalam sashankhachakram sakirita kundalam sapita vastram sarasiruhe kshanam 
सपीतवस्त्रम सरसीरुहे क्षणम सहार वक्षस्थल कौस्तुभ सॉरी सहार वक्षस्थल नाउ हियर शोभि कौस्तुभम शोभि नाउ हियर द शोभि वर्ड इज मिसिंग इन इंग्लिश ट्रांसलिटरेशन देयर इज थर्ड लाइन सहस्र वक्षस्थल शोभि शोभि कौस्तुभम there is some difference here the shriyam word is not there hmm? it will come kaustubhan because the next word is na the anuswara sound is na there kaustubhan shriyam word in sanskrit script shriyam is there cut it out kaustubhan kaustubham there is a anuswara सहार वक्षस्थल शोभि कौस्तुभम यू हैव टू राइट द टू वर्ड्स टू लेटर शोभि कौस्तुभम एंड कट डाउन श्रियम सहार वक्षस्थल शोभि कौस्तुभन नाउ द अनुस्वार साउंड विल बिकम न नमामि विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज नमा विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज नमा विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज दर् वर्स स शंख चक्र स किटकुंडल स पीतवस्त्र ुंडल स पीत वस्त्र सरसीहे क्षण सहार वक्षस्थल शोभि कौस्तुभन्नमा विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज स शंख चक्र स किटकुंडल स पीत वस्त्र सरसीहे क्षण सहार वक्षस्थल कौस्तुभ सॉरी सहार वक्षस्थल शोभि कौस्तुभन्नमा विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज वन लास्ट टाइम स शंख चक्र स किटकुंडल स पीत वस्त्र सरसीहे क्षण सहार वक्षस्थल शोभि कौस्तुभन्नमा विष्णु शिसा चतुर्भुज द मीनिंग आय बो बिफोर द गॉड विष्णु हु हैज फोर आर्म्स यू नो इन फोर आर्म्स ही हैज होल्डिंग फोर डिफरेंट थिंग्स द कॉन्च इन वन हैंड इन वन हैंड सुदर्शन चक्र इन वन हैंड गदा एंड इन वन and lotus so who has a conch wheel in his hand sudarshana chakra who wears a crown and ear globes who wears yellow silks who has lotus like eyes who shines because of kaustubha mani kaustubha jain worn on his garlanded chest so this is the meaning and the last paragraph we'll quickly finish this chaya yam parijata tasya hema simhasano pari chaya yam parijata tasya hema simhasano pari 
छायायां पारिजातस्य हेम सिंहासनो परी आसीन मंबुद आसीन मंबुद आसीन मंबुद श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम नौल अनुस्वार फॉलोड बाय क सो लंग द नेजल साउंड लंग कृतम आसीन मंबुद श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम आसीन मंबुद श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम आसीन मंबुद श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृतम चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह अनुस्वार फॉलोड बाय च सिलेबल द अनुस्वार साउंड विल बिकम न चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह बा इज हैविंग हुक सो चतुर द र साउंड विल कम बिफोर बा चतुर्बाह चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह श्रीवत्सांकित वक्षस चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह श्रीवत्सांकित वक्षस चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह श्रीवत्सांकित वक्षस रुक्मिणी सत्यभाक्मिणी सत्यभाक्मिणी सत्यभाभ्या सहित द अनुस्वार फॉलोड बाय क इट्स अ नेजल साउंड सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए रुक्मिणी सत्यभाभ्या सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए रुक्मिणी सत्यभाभ्या सहित कृष्णमा छायासनोपरी आसीन मुद सॉरी आसीन मुद श्याम मायता क्षमल चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह श्रीवत्सांकित वक्षस रुक्मिणी सत्यभाभ्या सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए छायायां पारिजात हेम सिंहासनोपरी आसीन मुद श्याम मायता क्षमलंकृत चंद्रानन चतुर्बाह श्रीवत्सांकित वक्षस रुक्मिणी सत्यभाभ्या सहित कृष्णमाश्रिए मीनिंग I seek refuge in Lord Krishna, who is with Rukmini and Satya Bhava. Both are Shri Krishna's wives. Rukmini, Satya Bhava, who sits on a golden throne in the shed of Parijata tree. Beautiful tree, isn't it? Parijata Vriksha. who sits on a golden throne in the shade 
what a beautiful feeling in the shade of parijata tree who is of the color of the black cloud krishna krishna is the black krishna varna who has long broad eyes who has face like a moon who has four hands who has a chest adorned by shri vatsa again and again you know this uh, whenever it comes to reading or uh, learning vedas or the vedic chanting or the veda chanting it is continuous repetition abhyasa constant regular repetition 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 and that form comes before your eyes if you are chanting these verses contemplating on its meaning regular chanting very naturally the mind will go in a meditative state the beautiful uh, you know the form of lord krishna how beautiful is that and i seek refuge what a beautiful feeling you know you have to feel it as you chant when if you chant mechanically if you practice asanas mechanically no result if you have bhav the devotion the bhakti you know the bhakti will flow in your heart and then you will get the experience of surrender to this powerful all pervading principle may it be vishnu may it be shiva may it be krishna may it be ram may it be ganpati any form doesn't matter but you have to ultimately surrender and that is the beauty of all the sadhana okay so with this here we'll stop uh, and we'll end with the shanti mantra any questions before we end and see now from here the thousand names will start hmm so in the next session we'll start with the thousand names right now we have just meditated on the beautiful aneka roopa roopaya the infinite forms of uh, lord vishnu and now we are going to start with his names so you can contemplate on names you can contemplate on forms your stress will vanish there is no place for stress isn't it you will vibrate you will resonate with the divine vibrations how beautiful that state is and the constant practice constant sadhana will help you to maintain that state all the time the blissful state all the time that is the beauty of sadhana so with your eyes closed with your back straight close your eyes just try to remember revise in your mind all the verses beautiful dhyana shlokas beautiful verses we have chanted feel its effect on your body on your mind this is the time this is the opportunity to connect with your soul with the divine within that lord vishnu seated in your heart the anahata chakra the center of your heart you are vibrating with the divinity the bliss the peace and that is eternal permanent feel each and every syllable word sound potent with energy sound as a tool which uplifts your consciousness and gets expanded in all pervasive the vision 
become one advaita the state of advaita feel the state of oneness right now and surrender let go having the feeling of completeness purn don't want anything i am right now in the perfect state of yoga the oneness the union the purn Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnamad Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Maintain this Shanti throughout the day, all the time within you. And with few blinks, open your eyes. I'm very grateful to all you, all of you, for joining today's session. And I, I will see you in the next month with the actual verses of Vishnu Sahasranam. So thank you very much. I will share the recordings, uh, and it will be uploaded by our friend uh, in the table format. And I hope you are all practicing the verses we have covered so far. Okay, in uh, you know sometimes middle of the month, some day we will just have the practice session. I will figure out when it is possible, and I will update it on the group. All right. Thank, so thank you. you so much. Have a good Sunday. Uh, Sunday thank you. Sunday. <laughs> thank you for the, the lovely class, Katie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. Bye bye. Be well. Bye bye.